talk about my dude, Brendan Schaub. So what I'm going to need from you, Mr. 3 dl is knock that Cheeto dust off your fingers, sit up right in your seat from your mother's basement, turn the light on, because I'm about to drop some knowledge on you. If you're ready, because I'm ready, and everyone else is ready, let's go. not, 3D Al and I are good friends now. Some might call us besties. Aside from that, I want to talk about Brendan Schaub. Just turned 37 years old, March 18th. What a stud. Did you guys see that picture that King and the Sting posted where he leapfrogs over Theo Vaughn? Did you see that? Schaub jumping out the building. Brendan Schaub with hops at 37 like he's 22. God, Theo's here. And Schaub's like, normal leapfrog. Boop, got it. Schaub. Just incredible. Who has hops like that? Michael Jordan. But we're not talking about Michael Jordan. We're talking about Brendan Schaub. And that's incredible. Incredible hops on that guy. And his fashion. The style. The guy is slick. He's sick with it. He's sick with it. He doesn't have coronavirus because he's already sick with it. We got to talk about that fashion game, man. Let's break it down. Think about it. The guy is a fashion icon. Really. Known for his fashion. There for a while, he crapped on big brands like Gucci and all that. And then he got really big into Gucci and all that. And then saying that you didn't need to have that to be fashionable. But now he's back off. He doesn't talk about Gucci as much. But what he did do is get the Great Gatsby haircut. Then what did everybody else do? They went out and got the Great Gatsby haircut. Once he ditched the Great Gatsby haircut, he starts slicking his hair back. Uh-oh, and what did your boy do? What did your boy do? Hair receding and all. Your boy starts combing his hair back. You got to keep up with the style, man. You got to keep up or you get left behind. Brendan Schaub started going on and on about Yeezys. So what did I do? I went out and got me a pair. Can't mess with it. If he says it's truth, I take it as gospel, baby. I saw a video on YouTube the other day that was shared on Twitter about highlighting Brendan Schaub's fighting career and where he really sat in that division. Who cares what he did as a fighter today. Not me. If you want to talk about his fighting career. Oh no, what? I'm sorry. He's on to bigger, better things than that. Man, why are you bringing up old stuff? We're going to talk about what you did in high school and junior high. We'll be sitting here sharing stories about Brian Callen's wrestling career. It's so hard to shake off past ideas of somebody that they could grow, that they could change who they are, that they could become a better person or a different person. It's like Theo Vaughn said, he had such a tough time shaking the real world guy, right? He's a real world kid and becoming a professional comedian. They always had him pegged as the MTV kid, the real world kid, and he wanted to break that shell for so long. And I feel like that's what we do to Brendan Schaub. We take all of his success and relate it back to MMA. It was a lifetime ago. Why are we even talking about it? All I know is if you keep playing games with my dude, Brendan Chubb, you're about to get the surf and turf. And you're not going to get surf and turf from him. You'll get surf and turf from me, 3D Al. You don't want the surf and turf, baby. Order at any time. Because I didn't forget about you, 3D Al, you have a challenge that you haven't accepted. I didn't forget. The people that watched the video didn't forget. You versus me. Let's go. Really, I would love to be able to sit down with Shab at some point and discuss his style, his fashion, where he gets his influences, Jared Leto, etc. Where does he get this? Um, it'd be really cool to talk to him about it. 
I know right now he's already out of the game on the skinny jeans look. He says skinny jeans aren't in anymore. Well, what is? Where is he getting his information? How does he find out? Does he research this stuff? It's cool. Listen, whatever he says is in next is what I'll buy. So now that we've gotten down to business on Brendan Schaub and his fashion, let's talk about how his fashion influenced me. Brendan Schaub, he likes to talk shoes, the shoe game. He actually had a custom pair of shoes made. Now, did I buy those shoes? I didn't. I, I didn't like them. They were kind of this green. I just didn't. They reminded me of a pair of Airwalk shoes I had in seventh or eighth grade. I didn't like the Airwalk shoes, but I got them because they were supposed to be it. And I just didn't like them. His shoe reminded me of the Airwalks. However, his shoes were made by greats. And because Brendan Schaub talked about him so much, I had to go out and buy greats. What it do? Because Brendan Schaub says it, I dropped my money on it. Another great brand he talked about, every man needs a pair of dress boots. Every man needs a pair of boots. He went through a boot phase. That was his phase when he was watching um, that TV show. Oh, I love, can't think of the name of it right now. It doesn't matter. Oh, I can't think of the name of it? It doesn't matter what the name of the show was. It's driving me crazy that I can't think of it, though. Anyways, he talked about John Varvatos. John Varvatos. Not only did I get a pair of John Varvatos, they're brand new. I haven't even put them on yet. I've never worn them. Had them since 2015. Game of Thrones. He was into Game of Thrones and was talking about boots. I went out and got a pair of boots. He specifically always talked about John Varvatos. What did I do? I went and got John Varvatos boots and never wore them. You make the boots. Have him say they're awesome and I'll buy them. So if you follow any celebrity these days, any kind of social platform, they're slaying in merch. If you're not buying the person's merch, are you even really supporting him? Not only will I take his fashion advice and buy boots that I'm never going to wear. Not only do I own three different pair of greats because he hyped them up so much. Not only did I buy a pair of Yeezys. You can see the Z up on top here. I also copped the original Fighter and the Kid. I think you'd be surprised. But what else did your boy do to support Brendan Schaub? He bought that El Limited Audition, the Fighter and the Kid 3D shirt. And he still rocks them. You can tell how worn these shirts are because I wear them. My boy puts them out. I buy them. I rep his stuff. Super fan. Super fan. So, I wanted to come back out with another video. I know that you guys love my reasons to love Brendan Shop videos. 3D AL, 3D Al. <whistles> Not gonna edit it. That's how disrespectful I am. Not gonna get your name right. So disrespectful. 3D Al, you asked for it and you got it. All's fair in love and war. And Bren big brown Brendan Shop, baby. In conclusion, Brendan Schaub is awesome. I do these videos 90% for comedic relief. And a dear, dear friend of mine who's close to my heart asked me to make another Brendan Schaub video. And the only thing that I haven't touched on yet is his super fly style. So I wanted to make a video for everyone. And let them know, if you want to step your style up, you want your fashion game a little higher, don't look at, you know, Ryan Reynolds. You don't have to just look at Jared Leto. You don't have to just look at, you know, these industry leaders in Hollywood that you think are fashionable when you got big brown Brendan Schaub to look at. And you know what? Sometimes you can swagger jack on a budget, but... 
I don't know anything about that. Here's to you. Here's to you, Al. Here's to you.